Now let's say I wanted to select data. So let's just put some pseudo code here. Select uh, data or select um, the username from uh, users. So this is our table here where the ID is equal is equal to two. So this is what we call a query. This is in pseudocode at the moment. I haven't well, almost. It's just English English language. But I um, what I've done here is I've constructed um, a something called a query. And what a query does is allow us it allows us to use specific syntax. This isn't specific syntax at the moment to select information from different parts. So what we're doing here is we're selecting the username in this column here from users table which is this whole table here where the ID is equal to 2 so the ID is equal to 2 we want to select the username and we're taking the username which is Billy so this query would return the value Billy so you can see the advantages of storing inside a database it might look complicated at this stage but when you start to use it inside PHP PHP makes it very easy for you to extract data even insert data um, and perform a variety of, um, of queries etc and that's done through MySQL so you can also have other tables so we can have table um, let's say uploads we might have allow users to upload files now why is this going to be useful let's just add um, another column called ID and then I'm going to say user ID and I'm going to say location. So the ID will again be auto increment, but this time user ID, what we're doing here is we're referencing the user ID back to this initial ID because that is the user's ID. So you can call these column names anything you like, but I recommend something of the similar structure. So user ID might be one, and the location of the file that's been uploaded might be uh, logo.png, for example. And now we can come on to say record two, and this might be user ID one again, might have uploaded a file called um, php.jpg. Onto record three, and we might have user up user two upload a file called art.jpg. So now what we can do is we can perform a query to say, um, let's say our user is logged in as Alex. What we would do is we would have the ID ready to select things relative to Alex. So the ID is one. This is unique to the user Alex. So what we could do is we could say select um, location from uploads. Remember this is the table name where user ID is one. Now what this query here would do is return the values wherever the user ID equals one. So it would essentially return these two. Now we've selected location only, so what it would do is it would only bring back this data. So what we can do is to speed things up we can select a specific uh, f column name so we can save time in our program, uh, our load time, and we can save, um, you know, resources. So this is essentially databases. The reason we use databases is it's a quick and easy way to add information somewhere that can be easily retrieved. We don't have to deal with text files. We don't have to deal with comma delimited files or space delimited files or tab delimited files, which would look something like um, Alex. Garrett, phpacademy.org. We could have maybe one there. We might have two, Billy, Garrett, and nothing. So to do this, we would need to open the file. We would need to use an explode function to get rid of these commas and put this into an array. Then what we would do is we would have to select a specific uh, part of the array, so either 0, 1, 2, or 3. But by putting it into a database, you're creating almost something that you can visually look at, you can visualize as a whole, 
and extract specific data and insert specific data. You can also update data really, really easily as well with, with just a single query. So that's an introduction to databases. Like I said, we're going to be using the database um, MySQL, which is sometimes pronounced MySQL. And um, SQL stands for Structured Query Language. Now, I've been talking about queries, and this is exactly that. We have a structured query in which to retrieve, update, delete, create anything inside of our table. So this is just the name of the database we're going to be using. 